micro and macro level, it's a first step of physiological intelligence. Before you are trying to create adaptations, you have to understand where these adaptations will be created, on which level. For example, if I will start run right now, and in a couple of minutes, my breathing will uh, be increased and my cardio heart rate will be increased, it, it is adaptations to this type of training, right? But these adaptations is going only on macro level. It's not related to my micro level adaptations at all. Therefore, this training load will not produce micro level adaptations. It is clear, but if I will continue to run little by little, it will go to micro level biochemical adaptations. So you can see micro level, it's a cells level, ions, some biochemical processes, etc. Macro level, it's a, our response, adaptation of response uh, from our organism as a whole, as a whole unit because we are uh, one unit. And between them, there is regulation. It's a bridge between micro-level processes and macro-level adaptation or response. And processes at micro-level are important only because they provide a useful adaptation or response on macro-level, only. There is usefulness is not applicable on micro-level because it's like, a, uh, physical processes and purpose of these processes to achieve useful adaptation or response on macro level, to adapt our organism to environment. Because environment always changing. If you will turn off light, my body have to immediately to respond to these changes. So and therefore my sensory systems, my eyes, uh, my nervous system must react and will react, and I will get adaptation or response. And using training load, you are trying artificially, using different type of uh, training sessions, etc. using this mechanism, you're trying artificially to <laughs> evoke, to induce ad desired adaptations in your body, which will lead to higher performance. And therefore, so, micro level, macro level, core, between them and bridge between them is regulation. Regulatory system, our nervous system, primary function of nervous system is regulation, regulation. Nervous system trying to find optimal way how to organize biochemical processes on micro level to achieve useful adaptation of response on macro level. And this is the primary function of nervous system. This is why nervous system actually exists because we have so many options in our organism. We have so many different type of sensors and informations what we are collecting from environment. How this information have to be processed, have to, have to be organized, and what type of response our body have to create. It will depend on regulation, regulatory system. That's why it's very important not just understand regulatory functions, but also assess them daily. If your regulatory system working very hard at the moment, you have to understand currently they, they are trying to create adaptation or response on macro level. Busy. Regulatory system is busy. If you will apply additional training load, it will overload regulatory system and therefore you have a risk to get negative response or regulatory system will refuse additional stimuli, ad additional uh, interventions from outside. So it's our inhibition process uh, with protected inhibition. Just refuse everything if it will lead to negative results. So regulation, that's why it's very important to understand regulation because without understanding of regulation we cannot understand why this micro level parameter is going up and another parameter small little parameter is going down why sometimes they're both going up why sometimes they're both 
going down, etc. So reg regulation is organizing everything according one purpose, macro level adaptation or response. If we will, for example, measure our readiness, our current functional state, we can get some results. And this is our initial state before training. This is the starting point where we are now. And uh, okay, I will do some bench press. This is a load. This is a load. I'm applying some stressor intervention to my body. So what this is input. What will happen? My body uh, trying to get information using different sensors and this specifically my nervous system collecting this information from proprioceptors from different uh, different sensors in our body trying to analyze this information based on previous experience etc correct this information so regulatory system trying to create response to this particular training load. This is my transitional state. I'm in the process of creation of new state. Target is, my target tomorrow, is to get new achieved state, mm -hmm. better state when I was before. My initial state, I'm not satisfied. I would like to increase my strength or strength and power or uh, strength endurance or whatever. So this is my purpose, new achieved state. This is why I'm training. But my regulatory system applying this process and will do that transfer from me from initial state to new achieved state if, if, if it will create useful adaptation or response or positive outcome, I will get training effect if I have enough sources if my body is ready to digest this training load if my previous training adaptations completed if my current functional state is optimal and my body is able to do that adaptability trainability in this case you can very easy derive these terms and understand these terms so if I will measure my current functional state of CNS and my regulatory is optimally ready to do this particular training load, regulatory system will be able to deliver me to new achieved state and I will get gain, training gain. And another situation is if my body is not ready, my initial state already poor and I still apply the same amount of training load and my regulatory system cannot create new adaptations because previous adaptations not completed. Not completed. And during this transitional state, regulatory system trying to decide what a regulatory system have to do. Reject, return me back to initial state or uh, trying to create positive result. But positive result cannot be achieved because it's determined by functional state. Functional state is poor. So therefore, if I will continue to do exercises, it will lead to negative results because I will inhibit my natural inhibition, which, is, which has protection, protectory function. We have inhibition in our body because it's trying to protect us from our smart brain. Sometimes we're too smart. And so, but I, if I will continue and continue to do exercises, I will get new undesired state. So, or if I will do just a little exercise, which is not enough to produce positive training effect, like on previous side, I will not be able to get any effect. I will return back. It, it will be like warm up for me. So therefore, Useful result is to deliver me from initial state to new achieved state. And the uh, next step is uh, talking about formation of sport specific training system and it is in the frame of uh, 
in the frame of that. So how regulatory system is trying to create a sport specific system with a minimum cost of adaptation. So, and let me use an example from neuromuscular physiology. It's an example of regulatory system, somatic neural system, not autonomic, it's not related to autonomic neural system and the mega wave at all. I mean, it's a completely different model, but this model you can use for almost everything because it's a like general uh, concept of regulation. So in our brain, we have regulatory element and the program. For example, I am walking. I have a program. Or I would like to move my hand from here to here. Before I am doing this, my brain have to create a program in my regulatory element. And then my brain sending via neural impulsation to, and via spinal cord to my muscle uh, command. So do that or do this or do that. So, and it's a direct control. There is neural number one, neural number two, and this is object of regulation, muscle. Muscle is just like an athlete, but in, in the frame of this system is a uh, object of regulation, have to be contract. So simple target. And if I'm achieving this purpose, target, what was created here in my regulatory element, according program. My functional system, which is this one, understanding, okay, I achieved the result successfully. Everything is good. But if uh, there is some ice on, uh, on the wall and I cannot achieve this result, using feedback from sensors, proprioceptors, etc from muscles and, and other elements, information is going back to regulatory element and this information compared with preliminary, uh, previous program and if achieved result is not exactly the same what I planned earlier, regulatory element have to, based on this feedback, based on this information, recalculate every processes and uh, maybe involve another muscles, maybe exclude some muscles what are unnecessary at the moment, etc. But everything here will work for one purpose, achieving desired results, result. And this is what uh, completely misunderstanding, people misunderstanding using systemic approach. So according definition, system is relationships between elements. It is not true. If you will go try to Google search and input, try to find, for example, what is this uh, system, what system is, you will find definition. It's uh, elements what are related to each other. Wrong. I can say that, yes. Because question why they are related to each other. For what purpose? What's, what purpose, why they connected to each other and related to each other. And correct definition of system is, yes, it is relationships between elements, but there is a target, what these elements trying to achieve, and this is result. And result is a factor what determine behavior of this system. Factor what determine behavior, what type behavior of this system, whole system, what type elements have to be included, what types, what type of elements have to be excluded from this system. Every process will be determined depending on achieving result, goal. So, and this is correct definition of what system is. Try to think about this more accurately. Here, every action, every changes in this functional system will determine on result. If I am achieving this result, functional system confirm, yes, 
this result I desired in the beginning, this result I achieved at the end, done. If it's not done, functional system trying to do this process include uh, some additional elements to help achieve results or exclude unnecessary elements, etc., etc. Many different recalculations happening here for the purpose, one purpose, achieving the results. And your athlete here, if you're applying optimal amount of training load and your uh, athlete's body can achieve results, done, okay, all set. If functional system cannot achieve result, therefore, next process is to compensate, to in include many additional tissues, structures, organs, etc., etc., and in this case, cost of this adaptation will be increased, yes. So therefore, optimal strategy is to create functional system, sport-specific functional system, systems, plural, many different systems, with minimum cost, minimal, minimal cost of adaptation. And therefore, your athlete will be able to achieve desired result and keep health uh, safe sources and the reduced cost of adaptation. This is <coughs> smart training. How does the, reg the regulatory, any regulatory system work? Without direct control, system cannot come out. It's like army and center. A general have to say army move to this direction or move to that direction. If there is no direct control from brain to muscle, it, you can't comment. So therefore, direct control existing. So without feedback, regulatory system does, does not know how to command. So therefore, we have sensors in our body which collecting information and providing feedback to neural system and informing this neural system about current situation, what happening currently. So uh, we have to use feedback. And in our system, let me use this example, because anyway, we are from a mega wave. We are using this same approach from biology. We are trying to understand daily based Current functional state, current functional state of organism as a whole, using feedback, physiological feedback from organism as a whole. This is why it's important, because if my target is to take this bottle now, but after a couple of minutes, my target is to take my phone. There are two targets, and previous target is not actual at the moment. Therefore, if you apply different laboratory tests a couple times a year, yes, you can understand some long-term adaptations, but you can't get information about daily functional state, daily physiological, uh, using daily physiological feedback. So without positive feedback, regulatory system cannot be able to move quickly to new stable state or functional state or new achieved state. So therefore, if I'm ready, if my adaptability is optimal, my trainability is awesome, and I'm applying training load for regulatory system to create useful adaptational response, very easy, because body is ready. If I'm not ready, and I applied too much training load, I have to compensate, compensate deficit uh, of using physiological system. And sometimes uh, we are getting negative feedback from regulatory system. Without negative feedback, regulatory system cannot compensate of large deviation from a stable state, homeostasis or a steady state. So, and therefore these four stones, very clear explaining how any regulatory system work in our body. Any, doesn't matter, it is somatic nervous system, autonomic nervous system, any regulator, regulation, uh, regulatory process.